The problem with GPT is it's giving the opposite of insights. It gives the exact opposite because it tells us exactly what everyone knows. It's a predictive model. It's, it's just all down to algorithms working out what's the most likely next word. That is how GPT has been formulated to give us the logical answer to every problem. It's a math thing. It's GPT thinks like the average of us. Now, answers that we don't really want to hear because if it's thinking like the average of us, it's just going to be a pattern. It's just going to be wallpaper, advertising wallpaper, advertising that we want to block out. Here's one, for example, if I ask GPT, list five insights about Hilton Hotel. Sure, here are five insights. Global presence. Hilton is a well-known hotel brand with global presence in over 100 countries, making it one of the largest hotel chains in the world. Absolute vomit. Like, how boring is that? There is nothing interesting that's being said there about that brand. If someone told you that, if that was in our advertising or that they've got sustainability initiatives or a diversified portfolio of luxury hotels to, you know, your very budget-friendly hotels, that's not insightful. It's not making us look at the world in a different way. It's exactly what we would expect from Hilton Hotels to say. And so what we realize is if we can't ask directly GPT to come up with uh, insights, what we need to do is we need to ask questions to get GPT to think counterintuitively. 